Now let's see about two incidents happened in S3 in wiretapping. First one is about wireless surveillance by National Security Agency. This agency was established due to the 9-11 attacks happened in USA by September 2001. It also has a code name which can say Stellar Win. Then it also can say it has President Surveillance Program. The map shown is concentration of surveillance by NSA, which they are use fiber optics, underground fiber optics to retain the information. Major of the works is white tape, phone calls, analyze email and private data of peoples inside US and outside. Second one is about Greek white taping case 2004-5. It's about illegal typing about more than 100 mobile phone on Vodafone Greece network belonging mostly to the member of the Greek government. This was due to the exploitation of the Vodafone network, which the Ericsson switches used by Vodafone Greece was compromised and authorized software was installed that made use of legitimate tapping modules. So now we know about some basic wiretapping principle, but why do we need to treat it as a threat? Nowadays you can learn everything from online, buying spying device, or even DIY yourself like that YouTuber. Hello? Hello? You hear me now? It should be pretty loud. Damn, it sounds pretty good. We are ready to record. I just need an enclosure. Hence, we need to talk about some approaches we could take to prevent ourselves being wiretapped by others. The first thing is being cautious, or actually being cautious about your surrounding environment. Maybe a car wandering around your office, working place, or even your home. A device which you don't actually notice before. In such case, we should have our conversation less informative. And we may request assistance from law enforcement unit or technician. You may surprise that find out that most of the competitive companies spying each other through wiretapping. In addition, give your communication device a regular check especially your cell phone and tablet phone there's a slight chance for them being chipped due to some unused space in the hardware while visiting a service center specifies that you want to remove any unwanted or unidentified chips inside your device or you can use this reason of being wiretapped to actually buy a new cell phone so as a teenager today we are used to internet, and we download a lot of things from it, including those videos and games from unknown sources. You probably get yourself a spyware. It's still your phone identity, it's still your PC identity, it's still your content, it's still your video, your audio, your everything. Hey, they can even control your device remotely. So, they can not only wiretapping you, but tracking you and recording you. To prevent this from happening, do not download from unknown sources. There are some trusted or certified sites. Find and use them. Also, once you open the firewalls of the device, prevent apps from running at the background and off the GPS, Wi-Fi, hotspot and Bluetooth while you are not using them. Especially in publics. In fact, hobby hackers proved that they could activate our phone's basic function using your phone numbers, a public Wi-Fi, doing far more things than secretly install spyware to record and stealing your information.